Hi, I'm Timmy from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm going to be a little lazy. I shot a video yesterday of uh, trying out my new uh, oven pot for uh, baking in a bag. And I shot the whole video and cooked with it, and uh, I'm going to show that to you now. Uh, to amend that, I'd like to say, uh, if I was going to do it again, if I could find any problem with it was, my bongo turbo was a little bit too hotter than it needed to be. So I think if I was going to do it again, I would take, uh, if I was going to do it again, I would take this outside piece of wick out and just use the main wick to cool the stove down a little bit because I felt that the stove was a little bit hotter than it needed to be and I had quite a bit of time uh, keeping the lid down where it's supposed to be and, and I just think it was a little hotter. I think this would work better. But when you get your ovens, if you bought one, uh, just try it either way, but that is one way to go if it's too hot. That's a real simple way to do it. Uh, the oven worked real good for me. Uh, after I did this video, I added some extra holes to the disc in the bottom to make it set better because I think it was the bubbles were getting under it and it was lifting a little bit, and that'll make it work even better. Now, when you open this bag up, this cake is, because of the way the bag is, the cake is going to be in an odd shape, but don't let that throw you because if you've done it right, and it takes about 25 minutes to cook a cake in one of these, uh, you have to, if you're using a high nipple, you have to squeeze it like three three more times after the initial squeeze, because the, the way they are now, I've got them, uh, all the newer ones, I've kind of free-ported the inside with an end mill, so there's more volume in them, and you can get about six minutes to a burn with the newer ones that I'm putting out now. Uh, so. 4 to 6 to 24, so the initial one and then three more squeezes. So you kind of got to hang around and pay attention. But to get back, um, when you open this up, you've just got a big chunk of cake. Now, a lot of people go, ooh, but i got to tell you, if you're out backpacking and, you know, you're used to eating backpacking food, this is basically just like home cooking. This is a good, whatever you decide to do with a blueberry or the chocolate chip or, you know, and there's all kinds of these just add water. And I did try it uh, Thomas Great's way. I took um, a half a bag of the mix, put it in my uh, produce bag, and then dumped in, I think it was a quarter of a cup of water, and just swished it around in the bag from the outside, kneaded a little bit, and it worked great. It, it, it really takes water really fast. So it was really easy to mix up that way, and then I just wiped it all down and put my twist tie on and cut the excess off, excess off and put it in the pot. Worked great. And the cake was really, all kidding aside, really, it was good. If I was out backpacking and I had the time, say in the evening for, you know, when after the day's end, if I'm just sitting around, I would definitely cook because this is by far, the with the bongo stove and this oven, which is also a pot, it's very, very easy to cook a cake in it. I mean, you can't burn it. Uh, it's just basically as long as you keep the water boiling so the lid keeps rattling a little bit, uh, that's all that's required. Do that for 25 minutes and you've got it. Now, another thing about the lid is if the lid quits rattling, you're probably low on water. So you, if you watch the lid, if the lid quits rattling and starts settling down, you just hear a little sizzling. Take the lid off and dump in maybe another ounce of water and that'll go you quite a while. Uh, I had to add a little water to mine because I don't think I had enough in in the beginning. But, uh, you know, it's just an experimental thing, and the beauty of it is if you do run it out of water, you probably won't hurt it any because it's not a coated bottom because it's a flat bottom pot. So let's watch the uh, cake cooking video, and have a great day. Bye-bye.
still have water. Chocolate chip cake. Um, good stuff. A little unorthodox, but hey, most everything I do is unorthodox. <laughs> well, let's see how it tastes. Wow. I'm Timmy from Mini Bowl Design. <laughs> Get on a hike. Take a friend. More important than anything. Have some cake. And have a great day. This still amazes me. It came out fantastic. Mm. Bye bye.